successfully checked out of my hotel and packed the car. It was a challenge for sure. I am in all good Tennessee. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that. Uh, I just got to Judd's Country Store Antique Mall and I am super excited to check this out. Now, I will say I knew this trip was gonna have its own hiccups and sure enough, I've run into the next round of hiccups, which is my car is yet again full. So I have decided to add a, well, technically a third whatnot show while I travel, which is gonna be tomorrow night. Obviously this is gonna post way after that. I hope, I hope it's not the wrong decision. I have no idea where I'm gonna be. I'm just not making it as quick as I wanted to because quite frankly, I'm just having too much fun. Yeah, I really like the look of this. Let's go in. Yes. Well, Mr. Jinx is definitely the first thing I see. He's $30, he's got some damage on his cheek. I've never seen one of those. I love seeing stuff I've never seen before. This. This is like the best worst idea I've ever had <laughs> to uh, drive across country antiquing. I say worst because honestly, it's been kind of chaotic and I haven't even gone that far. Whoa, whoa, that thing's huge. Every aisle is super packed and it looks like they have a back end too. And I'm just now realizing I didn't even bother picking up that Northwood green glass over there. Let's see, it looks, it looks like the prices are awesome. Yeah, all right, I don't think I was wrong for adding a second show, or a third show, I should say. Oh, look at this orange, I love that color. Yeah, how much is this, I'm curious, I love that color. 35, that's reasonable. Wow, there's all kinds of stuff on like every surface here. A lot to get distracted by. More old photos. A very unusual one. What's happening down here? This candle holder is really interesting. Japan. $19. Oh, it's for the pair, I think. Neat. I also see one of these. I think it's Russian. The mushroom bank back here. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Does that say $4? Um, well, that is what I would call a no-brainer. That is Russian. That's amazing. That's a seriously good price. I'm trying to catch my breath. I am like so worked up, excited. What is this? It's like, oh, that's cool. Japan, it's like Versace. I'm not much into old bottles. I really like the way this one looks. $50. Yes, I have expensive taste. <laughs> looks like I've entered the man tiki side. Oh my gosh, look at this. Howdy. That's so fun. Oh, look at the brownie one. Oh, with the little elf. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm really glad I added that third show now because... I have a feeling today is going to be the start of something wonderful as I enter really new terrain that I've never been before. Your choice, $4. This one's $4.50. That's fine by me. We love our daisies. And I also really like this owl. That one's $4. Is that? Oh, it's Avon. I thought it was Estee Lauder for a second. It might have a weird smell to it. I'm gonna put it back. No, it can't be. It does say $4.50. Oh, it's got a little hairline, but still. Oh, that's not that bad a hairline, honestly. I know I said I was gonna stay away from damaged items, but I mean, that's like, it's not that bad, right? Yeah, it's barely anything. $4.50. Is that like, it's just crazy on the bottom. Oh man, this is awesome. Actually, I kind of take it back. I realize it is cracked. <laughs> um, my hand was covering it, so I have an excuse at least. A little lust to wear cat down here. I 
I feel like I usually see these in uh, pin cushions. I guess that's a dog, that's not a cat. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, this squirrel up here. He's huge, but he's fantastic. It almost looks Italian, even though it's a hobbyist piece. He's fantastic and he's only $8. I kind of want to get him. I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't. Normally hobbyist pieces don't sell for that much, but I have a feeling he would do all right. Oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm not much of a clock person, but oh my gosh, this mantle clock is giving me life. $50, it says it works. Check. Whoa. It's really quite amazing. I don't know enough about it though. Oh, it's so pretty. I feel like I just want it for myself. <laughs> I am just checking these over for anything special, anthropomorphic maybe, hiding in these flats. Oh my gosh. $28. All right, well, that's totally fair. If that was for myself, which I kind of wanted, honestly, I wouldn't think twice. I don't think I could do much with that for resale purposes. So it's kind of hard to walk away from. Oh, that's so cool. Records and jewelry. Oh my gosh. So cute. Unfortunately, it's uh, contemporary, which is crazy because it looks older. <laughs> Look at this Bahamas thing. She's fun. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. That's fantastic. The squirrel and acorn. Looks like a bear with a worm. I also noticed the uh, little Scotty Dog wall pocket back there, but that's at 20, 50% off. I'm not seeing anything. If that was like one of the Poovil ones, I'd pick that up. Oh, the deer are fun. These look like hobbyists. Yeah, they are. And then we got the thumper head. It's another hobbyist. Oh my gosh, wait, no, it's not thumper. It's the white rabbit. Looks like the top of like a hobbyist cookie jar. And a Unita. Oh my gosh, look at her outfit. How much is she? $12. She's fantastic. I wonder if this spot would come off. So it's actually been quite some time since I had a Unita doll. And <laughs> she's a little bit larger than the ones I usually see. She's also got the most adorable outfit on and I love her bonnet. Uh, I usually sell the ones I get for around 17 and I think that spot's gonna come off. I kinda already scratched some of it off. So for $12, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a risk and grab her. I know I'll be able to make my money back at least. I think, uh, I think I'll do all right with her though. She's pretty fantastic. I know this is contemporary, but look at this fish pin. Wait, it's, is it? Made in Germany, I don't think it is actually. I don't see a price on it. Oh wait, your choice, $25, is that right? So $12.50, unfortunately I can't do that. What about the cat, 42, okay, just kidding. Fabulous, I only spent $33 in there. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I going past junk in the trunk? I should go in and see what junk is in the trunk. Just kidding, it was mostly contemporary and furniture. So, I'm gonna hit the road. There's another place, a, like a mile or so down the road, it's called This and That. It doesn't have any photos on Apple Maps, but I've kinda learned that no photos on Apple Maps out here doesn't mean what it means around me. So, let's go check it out. By the way, when I say my car is full, I mean, my car is super full. This, that, and more. Intriguing. Oh, I think I like this. I went ahead and grabbed a basket. What does that mean? Two dollars? What? Northwood, ten dollars? What? 
really pretty. Um, whoa, hold on. Well, I left the glass basket. It was a little bit newer than I like. It was only in 1998. And I would have picked up that Northwood vase had it been maybe another color. Every item in this booth a dollar? Oof. Wow, that's crazy. It's super cracked though. Well, I really like this vase. That's super pretty. 15, super fair, but not enough room for me as a reseller. Oh wow, look at this scooter and scooter. That's so cute. It's like a really crazy mix of stuff. <laughs> it's literally this, that, and more. I love it. Now this mirror has my attention. That is at 58, totally fair. That is a beautiful antique one with the beveled glass. Oh wow, it keeps going back. Interesting. <laughs> I'm not sure about this section. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on it. Let's see. I'm gonna go back to the main aisles. So I'm actually pretty surprised. I've been through almost this entire thing and where there's plenty of vintage stuff. I mean, it's literally very eclectic. I don't really see anything kitsch. This is USA. McCoy. $45. So surprisingly, nothing, but it's okay. I'm gonna get on the road and head towards Nashville. I'm like an hour and a half about from there. So let's see what we can find along the way.